Hello my fellow starting craftsmen. I think we're about ready to get started on this build series. I anticipate taking about a year. Probably about one part a week, give or take holidays and things that come up. But about that. But we will get her done. You saw the review on the last time. So I didn't have these last time. I bought some aftermarket decals. I'm probably going to do Man of War. Nice different scheme. These are Kids World decals, B-17Gs of the 8th Air Force. Now, I like to primer certain parts on the sprue so I can put them together and paint them. So you'll notice these have all been primered inside of the engines, sorry, yep, inside, of the engines inside of the fuselage, engine parts, bulkheads, seats, they've all been primered already. The reason I do that is I like to have a primer undercoat under my paint all the time. And for me, certain parts it's easier just to primer on the sprue, get it done. So, I do that. Again, this is how I do it. You don't have to do it this way. For me, it's easier. The interior of this is all going to be pretty much zinc chromate. And then I'll detail paint the seats, everything else. I don't need the wings right now. Set those aside. Set all that aside. I do not need my Takano instructions for sure. Set the color call out aside. And here's the instructions. So. It starts with assembly of, looks like the cockpit and the pilot area. So since we are going to be using some Edward stuff for everything, got to find the right photo edge for the cockpit. Looks like that right there, cockpit interior. So, let's get this out, see where we're going to end up putting this. Instructions. So we got two pieces of photo etch, one is just a standard copper color you're going to put on and then paint it whatever color it should be. And we've got the color, instrument panels, all the cockpit stuff, throttles. I've never worked with PE 72nd scale before, so it should be interesting. So, first step on PE directions is doing the seats. And as you can see, you need a ballpoint pen because there's ridges here. You're going to run the pin in the groove and it's going to pop the ridges out. And it's going to make it more 3D. And then we're going to go to work on the actual instrument panel, cockpits, throttle controls, all of that. The kit instructions will have you starting with the floor, the side panels, all of that. So the seats are here. And since we're not going to build the seats, we are going to use these parts folded for the frame for the seats and the armor for the back of the seats. So pretty much you need the seat. Sorry, catch me in the pain in the butt. 
don't know what she just knocked off, but she knocked something off. So anyway, you need the seat, kit part, and everything else looks to be photo etch. So, let's start with the seats then, number 195, right? Find the sprue that has the seats on it. This could take a while just finding parts. Don't need the fuselage head yet. All right, G6. 195 is a Humbro color collab. Before I come back and do the next part, I'm going to label these sprue better. Sprues better. G6 right here. So I hope everyone who went to Telford had a good time. I didn't make it due to unforeseen circumstances, which I've explained ad nauseum, so I don't want to get into it again. So, so this over here. Now, I use this to cut my PE on, and I need. Which is this part right here? Oh, my head's not in the way. In a little bit, that might be okay. And I'm careful when I cut because I don't want to warp it, bend it out of shape. Probably should have put a new blade in here before I started. There we go. Then I take uh, my Tammy Diamond file, flat one. sure all the attachment points are cleared off and it's smooth all right now Ballpoint pen. This you are going to use softer surface. See all these ridges? You just want to put the pen in there and run it back and forth. Doesn't matter if you get ink in or not because you're going to primer over it and paint over it. Or you can just wipe it off. But you see how it made raised edges there. You want to do the same thing on this side. And if you don't think they're deep enough, go back and press on them again. And if you don't like the blue, just clean it out of the grooves. Yeah. 
it's a gel ballpoint pen that's why the ink was so pronounced but as you can see you've now got raised detail on both sides then take my small folder let's see goes like that that folds in that side that side Seats it's on here. Something like that. Oops. <laughs> Looks like we're going to need to smooth up this part down. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yep, because we're not using that part. So I'm just going to cut off what is essentially an attachment point there. And here. And I'm going to take a standing stick. Make it nice and smooth. And then fits in there perfectly. Just like that. And get yourself an armored seat. Now, it looks like I folded it the wrong spot. So, I'm going to unfold it there and then refold it there. You can do that once or twice before it becomes a problem and you break your photo edge. But, as you can see, if it's nice, we're just going to super glue that in there. Super glue that nice frame onto there. It'll hold really nice. 58. Is the back that goes on there. for one seat, 59 for the other, so because we used that one, let's use this one. And you do have to have patience when doing a photo etch, or it'll get the best of you. And you don't have to use every single piece of photo etch that comes with it. That is your choice. Again, smooth away the attachment points. And you want to do it in such a way where you don't bend the PE, so I wouldn't do it like this because you bend the PE. I do it in the line, same direction. Same with this little top part right here. Okay. Now this is going to have to be folded and curved. The folding part will be easy because you're just going to follow the line. 
curving part is going to require a little more patience. Once you get it, oops, it's got a nice curve in there, and it's going to fit over here. Like so. And then all this frame part is going to be bent and attached to this and then this envelope and another backing plate there so you're going to need either 50 or 52 so let's just stay with the same side And if your blade's sharp, you'll hear a click when you cut through it. It's completely off. There should be fold lines on one side or the other. So I also have yeah, me a photo it's tweezers which I like using for more delicate parts instead of the pliers that folds in like that and that folds in like that and that folds it down as a brace so once you get all that glued together stand for your seat and it goes like that and it goes on here like this and it gets glued to that third rung down like that and then this would all get glued to the back of the seat and when you're done it's going to look like this. And then it's going to be set here. Now, these plastic parts, G16 and G15, which are the braces, these parts here, it wants you to cut off this part and save this plastic part because you're going to put some photo etch on it. So we're going to need to do that too. Okay. First things first. Let's get some super glue out. Get this seat back on there. All right. Now the way I do this, I use a bottle. I turn it upside down. Ah. I find the right super glue I want to use, which is going to be Loctite super glue, ultra liquid control. Sure, if I've opened it yet. Ah, there you go. You gotta turn the cap till the clicking stops. And get super glue all over your hand. Super glue all over your hand.
Definitely don't want to leave that on there. Okay. There we go. And that's it. Now, I have a tool, it's called a glue looper, that's how I apply my super glue on most things. Things that are big like this, definitely I'd be using the glue looper, really small things I might use the toothpick. I'm going to start with one part at a time, starting with the seat bottom. And before that dries, I want to get some glue down here in the seat back. A few seconds to dry. Now I did that because these sides are foldable so they can be folded up so you can get glue underneath. And you can put that down. Same thing for the other side. Little dabble, do ya? And make sure you don't glue your fingers to the seat. Because that won't be very much fun for you or the seat. Alright. Armored seat back in place. I do think looking at the instructions, this one goes on the other seat. As you can see how this curve is right here, that's on that side. So unless I can... This one for the other seat. Cut this one out. Oh, more super glue shot out. Hold on a second. Almost super glued myself to the mat. Which is why. It's good to have the bonder within reach, which I do right over there. Well, when that squares open, that squared open. See, warts and all build. The real life of a model builder. out Now, let's do this right. Hold that. 
that in. Fold that over. Super glue. Make sure it's all squared up. Hold it like that for a few minutes. Get a good bite going on it. Make sure that that's pushed in right. There we go. Let that sit. And that's why I think this is going to take a year with all this photo edge and everything else. So I hope I'm not boring anybody. We're not going to make these too long. Hopefully, only about 30 minutes each. Now the frame, we need to, I'm going to use a toothpick, that's just too big for these little parts here. Because if you use too much super glue, it takes too long for it to dry and bite. If you use just the right amount, it dries and bites just fine. Okay. See how that's all in place? I don't like the legs are not even. And... So, I have these very nice photo edge pliers here. I left too much of an attachment point on them. There we go, stands up. Which is what it wasn't doing before. Beautiful. Okay, move this part over here. Now, according to the instructions, you've got three legs right there. The top three legs. So we're going to run super glue across those top three struts. Grab a hold of it. Make sure it's straight. Let it sit there for a minute. Bite. There you go. This. There's little legs right there that are sticking out. The seat sits on those. And you've got yourself very well plated seat. Let's do it on here. super gluing it to my finger.
Let's try another tack. Another streak. Let's nail those feet. Let it sit like that. Of course, it's not going to sit up because there's too much weight on the front. But, there you go. One photo etch armor plated seat. This part came loose up here, so I'm going to reattach that. Then I'm going to do the other seat, then we'll come back.